Good morning everybody, Saturday morning. Um, this was going to be uh, a different video I'd intended to do, but in the light of what's happened yesterday, I thought I'd come on and voice my opinion. Yet another terrorist attack in London, on London Bridge. Two people stabbed to death. The terrorist who was wearing a, uh, a fake suicide vest was shot dead. The public are being kept in the dark, but it clearly was a terrorist attack by this person named Osman Khan. We're living in an age now where terrorism is rife and governments and police are afraid to come out and call it for what it is. It's a war, not just on Christianity, it's a war on everything that is not pro Islam and people can say it's the fanatics who do these things it's only the fanatics you know maybe to an extent it's true but Muslim leaders and the Imams make no bones about the fact that they want to see the black flag flying over Downing Street over Buckingham Palace. They want global Islam and all that that nasty ideology brings with it. The stoning of women, the murdering of homosexuals, the cutting off of limbs, And if they're so intense, these people, that punishment should be meted out for what they perceive of as crimes. Maybe we, when we get these fanatics, ought to meet out similarly a punishment to fit the crime. I've never been an advocate of the death penalty, never, but I'm rapidly becoming to change my mind about that. Our government is acting in a way that's almost criminal in not protecting citizens. They're naive in thinking that this problem is just going to go away because it isn't. The police, the minor crimes that are committed by people, people of a certain faith, the police have admitted on more than one occasion to being frightened to prosecute for fear of reprisals on the streets on the streets of the United Kingdom. The police are frightened of reprisals. I say ban the burqa and let the punishment fit the crime for these fanatics who are making life so untenable for so many people because I for one am sick of it and I know I'm not in the minority I know I'm not